We're now crossing live to Andrew Lyons. So, Andy, talk us through your thought processes behind your punditry. Listen, Andy. Excuse me, Ted. I'm sorry. Andy, you realize you're on air, man. The viewers, they're angry. How do you justify this embarrassing spectacle to the fans? Fuck. Do you not think that it was childish to play your tape until the moment you begin to speak? Are you ashamed? Oh my god. <laughs> Please, Andy, come on. Work with us here. We're gonna give you this one last chance to explain your actions to everybody out there. Come on, man. Say something. Cut. <laughs> Wait to the shadow. You see come here. You see come there. You see the shadow everywhere. Is he fat? Is he tall? Is he short? Is he small? These are things we do not know. We've never met the shadow. But seriously, I want to wish you all the best on Saturday. I'm sorry I'm not going to be there. Uh, hope you win. Hope you do the best. Uh, here's looking at you, boys. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Lyons. Um, I'm overjoyed that Garnick have got into the final of uh, the Shield at Murrayfield. Um, it's going to be really exciting. Um, Unfortunately, I can't play because I'm injured. Um, all the best, though. Hope you win. Um, it'll be a great day. Uh, hello there, everyone. My name is Graham Reach. Unfortunately, I'm over there on Saturday. I'm going to a uh, uh, wedding. I think it's a wedding. Ali, is it a wedding? I'm going to. Yes, it's a wedding. Wedding and uh, come. I think so. I just like to wish you boys all the best. No, 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 no. Oh, there's Jimmy and Cam on the background. <laughs> AKA Jed and Jedro. My name's Alistair Anderson, and I'm not going to play this Saturday because I'm injured again. And again. And again. This season I have the most appearances at Ross Hall ever. Frequent flyer miles, yes. Oh, yeah. Ali, I'm lucky here, alright, you're going to cut up for each yes. I'm also looking forward to being Team Waterboy on Saturday. Best Waterboy the clubs I've ever had. Charge of hydration. Can you whack it? Ali. <laughs> All the best, yes, all the best boys. Cheer up. I'd like to thank all the well wishers for coming to Murrayfield to support us, eh? And Coach Glenn, wow, what a coach. The best coach between Beav and Dorai in the offshore industrial state of I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, what do you think, Eddie? I was a cat, he's been a difficult man to track down, but I'm about to catch up with him at the whole town lobby. We, we talked over a number of things, but unfortunately, we took a number of substances, so I can't really recall much of the conversation. Uh, okay, but uh, yeah, we got an exclusive interview anyway. Here we go. Right, Kenny. So how does it feel being a coach of the the team that's in the Shield final yeah. for the second year running? Oh, again, it's, it's outstanding, absolutely brilliant. Boys deserve everything I've got. So your real name is Kenny Glenn. Uh, yes, why? That's good. Um, and would you prefer Kendall? Yes. Or even would you be more comfortable with Kendo? That's my name, yes. So, Kendo! Certain squad members have been carried this season. Yes, why? Could you specifically say who you're looking to replace next season? Yeah, probably. Probably. Is that your natural hair colour? No. So, we talked about who, who's lacking the skills. Um, could you tell us who you thought were the, the player or players of the season. I will be impossible for you to separate Ross Miller, Peter Thompson and Stuart Chuckleton, who are frankly guiding this team to every success we have had. Without them, I would not be confident of a single victory this year. As a coach, it has been a particular delight to observe the array of skills these players have displayed, especially the unselfish playmaking of Ross Miller. I only wish that Stuart Chuckle vision could find the courage to make an occasional tackle. So, to recap, my trio of the season is... Right, well thanks very much, I hope we do well today. Cheers, good luck guys. Kenny Glenn, what, what a man, Tash, I was... Tash, man, what is Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's exactly what Kenny was saying to me last night, you know, incredible man. Oh, what a legend, Kenny Glenn, legend. Everyone down at Garnock, legends. Tash, Tash, I'm gonna stop you there. You've heard some disturbing accusations of a certain individual at Ghana Rugby Club. And you know, I don't like to bring this kind of thing up on air, but I think it's important that everybody should see this. Thanks, man. 
I hate him. Chucky. Hey. Chucky, I absolutely hate him. Well he smells really badly and he's just, I just despise him. He's just terrible rugby as well. He's like, yeah, I just can't even describe how badly I hate him. Just disgusting. I want to spit right now. Gonna... That's how much I hate him. That's how bad he is. Okay? He's kind of stand him. He's always cheery. Oh, it makes me feel sick thinking about him. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dickhead. I've been pretending to like Chucky for years, but I can't stand him. He's far too rough at training. He needs to learn to calm down. I hate him. Chucky, I mean, to a fucking shit guy. Real shit guy. I want Chucky dead, and that's all I'm gonna say. No. I was invited by Kenny Glenn to come uh, coach you with the Garnock as the part of the expert coach training program. I observed his method. In fact, uh, this drill is one of his that I have uh, stolen. The passing grid, a beautiful infusion of uh, movement, uh, technique and grace. They love this drill. So, I come to the Garnock on uh, the Tuesday. I observe Kenny Glenn as he works and uh, puis on jeudi, uh, I take the team myself. I do some of the drills we do with the Toulon, uh, Biarritz, etc. The player, I find them enthusiastic, uh, talented group of men. It was a joy to work with them. Except for one, uh, Stuart Wilson. His tiny, misformed hands, they could not catch the ball. And then I make him uh, do uh, one press up and he vomit by the side of the park. I said to him, uh, Stuart, I'm sorry, you are not able to train with the men. Please go sit with the children at the side of the park. And then I return to train. But I look over, I see him. He is kicking sand into a small child's face. The name of Phil Collin. The child, he is crying. I said to him, I'm sorry, Mr. Wilson. You have to leave the session. And he go. And the rest of the player, they applaud and say thank you so much. He is a terrible man anyway. And I say okay, let us uh, continue Mr. Durex. You will replace uh, Chucky. A moment later, I remember my lucky baguette. It is not with me in my pocket. It is in the changing room. So I run to the room to collect my baguette. But as I come around the corner of the door, I see into the room, Mr. Wilson is standing. He is urinating into his uh, own kitty bag. 